everyone <clears throat> oh my god that was awful hi everyone welcome back to another video on my channel that intro has just completely thrown me off now because my voice just went really strange um but hello welcome back to another video um i am doing a christmas design today because it's coming quick like i can't even say it's slowly creeping up on us because it's not slowly creeping it's literally flying around the corner so i'm gonna do um beautiful color this is mrs claus from gel perfection and it is so glittery and sparkly it's beautiful um i'm going to do two coats of that on all nails and then i'm going to be doing a quick hand painted just easy design on the index finger uh, and the ring finger so i'm just applying this i'm not actually going all the way to cuticle and side walls because as always i've got a peel off base coat on um, so I can take this design off straight away because obviously I use my nails to create videos which is exactly what I'm doing now so um, that is why I have chopped my nails down a bit because they were super super long and I just I'm not used to it anymore basically I've been having my own natural nails like really nice and short for quite a long time now so those long nails really um made life difficult and i only had them for one evening and obviously only on one hand so yeah it just goes to show that i am not cut out for long nails anymore so i have chopped them down a bit to a more suitable for me length um because if i can't do my job with my nails then there's absolutely no point having them but they're just a lovely length now actually this is like my perfect length of extensions i wouldn't have my natural nails this long but I think they look really nice this length and shape in these um what's it called full cover tips so i'm just applying this color it is just so sparkly and such a pretty color i it's it's called mrs claus i'd say it's more like a, a ruby red um maybe not quite ruby but like more of a I don't know how to explain it. Basically, it's not like a pillar box red. It's more of like a pinky undertone red. But it is just beautiful. So I'm going to pop those into the lamp for a full cure. This is how they look at the moment. I will do a second coat off camera. Um, and then I will come back to do the design, basically. It's going to be super easy. We're just going to do a present on the index finger and then a candy cane sort of style on the ring finger but i'm going to do the second coat off camera real quick when this is cured and then i'll come back for us to do that together the white that i'm going to be using is actually from the jar box uk boxes this time it's called the plastics um and it's just a plain white so i'm going to use that for my candy cane nail and for my present um so yeah we'll get into that when it comes to it okay so here's my nails they are just honestly this red glitter is perfect for this time of year like if you don't have it and you use gel perfection definitely get it in because it's just beautiful look at that shine so all i'm going to do is remove the tacky layer from the two nails that i'm going to be doing a design on because i want the surface to be nice and smooth i'm also going to go in with my white buffing block and just very gently go over the whole entire nail mainly just because it's super difficult to get neat lines with designs when you've got lumpy bumpy glittery nails so we're going over the buffing block just to smooth it out a little bit and not filing off the the color itself we don't need to do that that's excessive just taking off that um, lumpy bumpiness on the top and then I'll go over with some acetone make sure they're nice and clean and this is what we're left with so obviously they look a bit matte and that is the look I'm going for so I'm just going to get my palette get a bit of my white on it and then we can start with the design super super easy one today because Christmas is a busy time of year for this sort of industry so quick easy designs are the way forward so first things first, for the present, I'm just going to do a line down the middle, well not the middle, I'm going to do a line down just off centre to the right, 
obviously didn't do a very good job of buffing this nail because look how this one has turned out and that is mainly because um there's glitter underneath it so i'm just going to go in with a clean up brush and just get that a little bit would help if my acetone wasn't miles away from me i'm just going to go in with a clean up brush and just get that a little neater especially the bottom area there's a big bit of glitter right on the very free edge that i obviously missed when buffing I just want to clean that up a bit. Would have been quicker to literally just repaint the line, but it's fine. We're going with it. I've committed now. <laughs> so at this point, you can either flash cure it to keep that in place, or you can just carry on with your design. I am going to flash cure it because I don't like to trust myself to get everything right the first time. So if you just flash cure it for like 10, 15 seconds, that will keep that line there. So if when I do my next part of the design, I don't like it, I can wipe it off and just start again instead of having to wipe it all off and start from the start um this line will still be there if i have to wipe the nail so i'm now going to go in with a horizontal line which is definitely not my strong point and i'm just bringing that right across and then down the other side Definitely made that wonky. Like I said, horizontal is not my strong point, but it's fine. We're going with it. Wrapped presents are not perfect. It's fine. I'm just going to go with, I'm making it realistic. <laughs> so like I said, because I've flash cured that other line, I can now clean this one up without affecting that one, which is handy. So once I'm happy with this one, which I'm not just yet, so I'm just going to tweak it a little bit more. There we go, perfect. Once I'm happy with it, I can then go in with the next step. But again, I'm going to flash cure this just for a few seconds to keep that one still because I'm happy with how it looks. And then when I come to do my bow, again, if I'm not happy, it doesn't matter because I can remove the bow without removing the first two lines as well. Okay, now we're going in with the bow. So I'm just going to come up from there. Very, very gently. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on because I want to get the... Uh, the lines where I want them before I go in and make them thicker. But now I'm happy with it, I can go in and neaten it up. Like so. And then once I've got it where I want it, again, I can pick up a little bit more product and thicken it up. Like that. That's the top half of the boat. Bottom half, super easy because you just get a flick going on. So flick down one end. Start in the middle, flick down the other. Super, super simple. And then I'm going to just flash cure that as well before I do my ring finger because I don't want to nudge this one by accident and smudge it while I'm doing the other nail. So that's what that looks like. Obviously, it will come more to life when it is glossy because at the moment it's still matte. But now we're just going to move on to the ring finger and we're going to create a candy cane effect by just adding some white lines along that red glitter. So we're going to do some thick, some thinner. Just make sure you go all the way to... Oh, we've got hair on there. It's trying to sabotage me. But just try and make sure that you go all the way down to the very edges of the nail so it doesn't look like it just finishes a bit too soon. So there's one line. And then we'll do another one here. 
I'm doing a thinner one this time and then the next one I'll leave a bigger gap so there's more red you could also do this nail the other way around as well and paint the whole nail white and then go in with your red um, just depends which way around you want to do it it's just personal preference like most things are again you can flash cure as you go along so if you do need to clean one up you're not going to affect any that you've already done that you're, you're happy with you might think it's like extra time that you're spending but if you pop this hand in to flash cure the first line and then just do the one on the next nail while you're waiting for it you're not really wasting any time because you're getting stuff done as you go along um it's much quicker to flash your stuff as you go along than it is to mess up and then have to start again so just bear that in mind this one i'm going to do thicker again it's also really handy to have a full coverage white as well so you don't have to do everything twice because that is really long-winded and frustrating so having a good white is good as you can see this one is perfect for nail art it's very very full coverage as straight as possible I'm just making our way down the nail basically I'm going to do another thinner one again do one more thicker one down this corner and then once I'm happy just going to pop that into the lamp is what they look like i'm going to pop that into the lamp now for a full cure and that will obviously cure all of that nail and make sure that the remainder of the other nail that's already flash cured is fully cured now once that comes out all we've got to do is top coat see how sparkly those nails look because obviously at the moment they're a bit matte so it'd be nice to see the glitter come to life so i will top coat on camera but for now we're just going to wait the next 40 seconds for this to finish in the lamp Okay, they're fully cured now, so I'm going to top coat. I can't wait to see how they look all shiny. Oh my gosh, look. Just comes alive. And of course, need to top coat those other two as well. But this colour really is just beautiful. It is so perfect for this time of year. Um, I get such a lot of use out of this colour in December and November. And Diamond Glitters actually have a mega sale on as well. I can't, I don't actually know when it's on to, I think it's until Monday, so I better make sure that I upload this video before Monday now. I should be going to find the mega sale and be disappointed. But yeah, there's 30% off I think at the moment, which is a really, really good deal. So definitely take advantage of that if you want to grab this colour because it makes it an even bigger bargain. But this is what they look like. I'm going to pop them into the lamp again for another full cure. I will wipe off the, ugh, wipe off the tacky layer of my top coat um, and then put a bit of key oil on and show you what they look like. So here is the final look. I absolutely love how these turned out. They are so pretty. Um, let me know whether this is something you would wear and what you think of this colour because I just I'm not even a red person really to be honest but I, even I love this one it's just beautiful um, but yeah super super easy design really doesn't take very long as you can see and it just looks really pretty perfect for this season um, so I am going to attempt to take off these nails now which is actually very sad because they are very pretty but they've got to go to make space for some new design 
lifted a bit. Where is it? There we go. Ooh, look how smooth that one came off. And that is the difference between me actually prepping my nails ready for a ready for the base coat and not prepping my nails for the base coat. Probably shouldn't have said that so soon because these are like going to come off now and I'm going to look really silly. Oh, they are. It's all right. Panic over. But yeah, so this is the difference between putting it on a rough surface and a shiny surface. Obviously, the whole point of using the shiny surface underneath is it doesn't stick to it. So if you want your peel like your peely base to last a while you just like doing your nails often but you don't want to change them like literally straight away like I do for videos then it's quite nice for the peely base to last a day or two um so I definitely recommend roughing up the surface before you apply it I'm really sorry I just realized it's not focused it's definitely coming off much easier now it's on a shiny surface and I only have to use one coat as well which is fab but look at that how just satisfying is that <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for watching this video and i'll be back soon with another one bye